everybody. Got a uh, buck and bill today. So I'd try something a little different in the woods. Uh, we've done it before, but not for quite some time. We're going to uh, cut some tamarack today, so that's what we'll do. Hope you enjoy coming along with me. I've got to swap my lines with with Bill, because he's usually on this side. Let's get them quite a little bit. I try to use the same routine with all my horses, so when I swap them up, it's still, it's still the same routine for each of them. My evener is set up with uh, adjustments on it, and uh, so with different horses, different situations, I adjust them differently by giving one of them a, a shorter end of the evener, gives them a little bit of a harder pull, or and then the one with the longer end of the evener, of course, has a a little bit easier pull. With these two today, they're going to be even, so they'll be pulling the same amount. Buck is actually a lot bigger horse than, than Bill, so he should actually have the short end of the evener and in his younger years that's where it would have been but being an older horse like him Bill has just so much energy and so much strength that uh, even though he's smaller I'll have him right even on the evener but every horse every situation is different that the Back back. Back back. Back back. 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 As you see, that was kind of a. I had to really push hard to get that hooked up. Like I've said, another videos if I would have released it up front I could have done it a lot easier but that's okay it worked fine you see I don't have my chainsaw here with me I it was threatening rain this morning I did rain this morning so I actually went up drove the truck down to the woods and get most of the way down in there with the truck and I just took the chainsaw down and did some cutting I wanted to talk a little bit about having your animals out to pasture, how grass 
a fax clam. Sorry about that rough road here, but uh, Buck has been outside for several days on green grass and we're just starting back to work here with him. And he's already lathered up. Um, it is partially because it's working with Bill, who he doesn't normally work with, although he did do quite a lot of mowing with him earlier, so I don't think that has much to do with it. But uh, I personally think that too much grass is really not good for a horse that is working. I. I guess my, my preference is to let the animals out every night during the summertime, but I like to put one team out on the grass and one team staying in the barnyard on dry hay. It just keeps less grass in their system, and I think they work better, sweat less, and possibly are stronger because of it. I may be wrong and I'm sure everybody has different thoughts on that and that's okay. Um, I don't claim to know um, know this subject very much. I'm just going from what my experiences when my horses are out on a fair amount of grass it's hard to work them without them sweating. If they're just on a hay and grain diet it seems like I can work them and not have them sweat at all. So it seems to me there's got to be something to that. But anyways, that's my thought on pastures anyways. So we're headed down into the woods. Got to cut some tamarack today. I am cutting some for myself. And I'm cutting some for the owner's sawmill up the road. For myself, I need uh, 10 foot logs to make um, petitions for my stalls, for my new, my plans for my new horse barn. Not new horse barn, I'm just redoing the stalls again. Not that. I'm, uh, I need to get some of them. I need to get one 20 footer for a guy that needs a 4x8 for a wagon. That will be going up to the other side. So here we are coming into the landing.
I'm finding quite a few, few of these tamarack trees are not so good as I thought they were. They're started to rot and go the opposite way, so I'm actually cutting in here a lot heavier than I was expecting. Most of these trees I do have to cut in half. I took that butt log out and now I'm hitching on to the top log. I'm going to pull it a little ways and then I'll get another log to go with it from a different spot. This tree was hung up so I didn't get to completely limb the top and cut the top off so we're just going to hitch on and we need to roll it up over that first tree that's underneath it there and then uh, we'll swing it out of there and then I'll cut it in half. Almost took the camera right out.
A lot of times when I have some hitches on the landing I will use a skid steer and pick up one end of them so that when I cut the logs off I don't get the chain of the chainsaw into the dirt or into the rocks. Works pretty good. Okay, we're all loaded up here. We ended up with two 20-footers, three 16s, and three nice eights, and then one eight with a with a prong at the end, which is not even considered a log in most sawmills. But for myself and the Amish, we can still get a lot of wood out of that as it is, and so we'll utilize all that we can out of it. There's probably 700 to 800 board feet here in this load. Um, those 20 footers add to a lot of footage. I uh, should have done it a little bit different. I could have and should have doubled up those eights. I went ahead to go quite so high and I could have put a little bit more on. The problem I'm having with when I'm taking logs up to the Amish or even when I'm just taking them up to my landing and dumping them, 
if I don't have um, my stakes, these stakes can't come out of here. I can't roll the logs off very good. So I need to be able to, to remove these stakes. And if these logs are tight against these stakes and I can't remove them, and so it's very, very difficult to unload. So because of that, I can't get so much on. And uh, <laughs> just the way it is. So a lot of times when I'm logging, I'll have a machine at both ends, one to, unlo one to load and one to unload. And that helps out a lot. I don't have to worry about the stakes. So anyways, we'll get hitched up and see if we can't get out of here. This hill, over the years, has been a really good way to teach horses how to pull and to hang and to not quit. I have, for many, many years, come up this hill and I always stop right here. And my horses know that. And uh, so even though this is a mismatched pair as far as they don't generally work together compared to the other teams. They still know that we will stop here. Buck has been hauling up this hill for, I don't know, over 10 years. Now, no idea how many loads, just load after load that he's hauled up this hill. And he knows He's going to stop at this spot because he has every single time he's come up this hill. This hill has just a couple, this spot here and then it levels out at the top, of course. But um, when you're going up a hill, you can't stop on a hill and hold a load unless you have some really good brakes on it. When you get loads, like I bring up this hill, it takes some pretty good brakes to, to hold it from rolling backwards. So um, I, I don't stop coming up this hill. They will... I'm all the way to this top spot every time. I have had some mishaps. I will tell you about sometimes. <laughs> but uh, overall, this has worked really good. Um, yes, Buck, I know. I'll always give him a break here and then we'll be heading up the hill again. But he's ready to go. I usually get a little bit antsy when I get on, but not too bad, ho. I can't pull step. As you can see, it's quite rocky up through here too. And as those wagon tires hits those rocks, it has to roll up over those rocks. Obviously, it pulls all the harder, but they will keep on digging until we get to the top. And then it's pretty level all the rest of the way out. Oh, a couple of tamarack I dropped off last week. There's an ash in there, a bit of firewood. Oh, the boys did pretty good today. Oh, there was something I gotta tell you. Oh, I know. Well, I didn't cut any 10 foot tamarack for my horse barn. And when I do, that has to go in the wagon and I have to take it down to my place with the wagon. This stuff here, I need the 20 footers. So this load will go up to Joe's. 
to the Amish sawmill and uh, I'm thinking about starting to drop the logs off here and landing and hire the trucker to truck them for me. Um, you know, I've been at this for a long time. I should have this all figured out. But I have a saying, the more I know, the more I realize how little I know. And that is so true. I think I have a plan that works good. And then I think of, well, what if I did it this way? So I try something else and then I try something else. And that's, that's okay, that's good. It's good to keep trying new things. So, and I guess I'll continue doing that. So we'll see what works best. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the day in the woods with me.